Sea Life. We just wanted to just share with you guys for a little bit. We're just going to start with a song, and I hope that you join us. If you're joining in, welcome. Uh, we're so glad to see you. So we're just going to sing to you, and uh, I hope you are enjoying this note.
welcome guys if you're just joining us we are going live we had to cancel our service this morning and I tell you no one I promise no one was more bummed than I was to cancel our service I was gonna show you guys all my new scarf today and I've missed seeing everybody but um, we just wanted to bring a word for you today we're really excited before we do that one of the things we were gonna share about today was community groups starting up we have an awesome video that we'll probably upload later or maybe show next week just about all of our groups that are starting up. So make sure you look for that um, and you will get one of these next Sunday, but our next, we'll zoom in here, um, our community groups will be starting up. What are they doing? Uh, in, a, in a couple weeks, so we're really excited about that. Um, I want to just share, introduce um, our speaker today. If you've been to Sea Life, you know that we have a little bit different flavor. Uh, we know that we're called in some way, shape, or form to reach out to the Hispanic community um, here in the New River Valley. And we're still praying about what that's really supposed to look like, but you're going to get a taste of that today. So I'm going to introduce to you Sergio Lara right here. Give him a hand. Hola! <laughs> um, Sergio and his wife Paola have been in ministry in Mexico City uh, for many years. They've been senior pastors. And besides that, I'm very blessed that he's actually my brother-in-law. Um, Rodrigo's sister is Paola, and Paola and I are the only ones that can really keep him in line, so we try. <laughs> um, so Sergio has a word for us today about how to live with passion in this new year. So I'm really excited. Just open up your hearts right now to what God might want to say to you today. Go ahead, Sergio. Okay. Hola, familia. ¿Cómo están? Hi, family. How are you doing? No se pudo vernos en vivo. We couldn't see you actually live. Pero aquí estamos en espíritu. But he, here we are in spirit. Así que vamos a comenzar. So we're going to get started. La primera cosa que quiero platicarte es... The first thing that I want to tell you is... Es lo, la única razón por la cual mi familia y yo sobrevivimos del 2016 al 2017. The only reason that actually my family has actually survived from 2016 to now 2017 es por gracia de Dios. It's because of the grace of God. Una gracia inmerecida. Something that is on the service. Porque simplemente no puedo hacer nada para merecerlo. Because there's nothing that we can do actually to deserve that grace. No merezco a la esposa que tengo. I don't deserve the wife that I have. No merezco a la hija que tengo. I don't deserve the daughter that I no have. No merezco la iglesia donde pertenezco. I don't deserve the church that I belong to. Es un regalo de Dios. It's a gift from God. Y la primera cosa que, que viene a mi mente y a mi corazón. And the first thing that actually come to my mind and my heart. Para vivir una vida de pasión. To live a life of passion. Es entender. Is to understand. La gracia de Dios. The grace of God. Derramada hacia nosotros. That has been uh, uh, given to us Porque no puedo pagarla. because we cannot pay it. No me alcanza. Uh, we cannot really pay for ah, tampoco it. A Rodrigo le alcanza. Even for Rodrigo, he cannot even pay it. Porque for, rico. Even though he's rich, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, going on. Entonces, no, no, no alcanza el dinero para so pagar really, we don't have enough money to earn that. Abre tu Biblia rápidamente. Open your Bible quickly. En Juan, In Juan capítulo 1, 16. John 1, 16. <laughs> dice, mientras lo busca Rodrigo, dice well, así. De su plenitud tomamos todos Todos hemos recibido gracia sobre gracia. It says this, from the fullness of his grace, we have all received one blessing after the other. ¿Has estado alguna vez caminando sobre la orilla del mar? Have you ever been uh, walking close to the ocean? Y de repente te vas metiendo al agua. And suddenly you start getting close to the water. Y de repente te das cuenta que empieza a llegar el agua a tus rodillas. And you start feeling actually the water closer to your knees. Y caminas un poco más. And you walk a little bit closer. Y llega quizá a tu cintura. And it gets closer to your actually hip. Y de repente viene una ola de tamaño regular. And then maybe you get this wave that it's about like middle uh, you know, power, string. Y de repente llega y, y te sacude. And suddenly it starts shaking you a little bit. Y, y de repente te das cuenta and then suddenly you realize que viene detrás de esa ola, that behind that wave viene una ola más grande. there is like a bigger wave y de repente you. Llega a tu, a, a tu cuerpo, and suddenly it hits your body te caes, you fall down vueltas, you start like going around estás lleno de arena, you're full of sand y todavía no te has recuperado, and suddenly you're not even recuperating yet y llega una más grande. and there is a larger wave hitting you Así me imagino la gracia de I Dios. think that that's the way the grace gracia of God sobre is gracia. Grace above grace. Una y otra vez. Once and once again. Dios mostrando su amor. God showing his a love nosotros. to us. A pesar de mis malas decisiones. Even beyond when we make wrong calls. A pesar de mí. Even beyond myself. La gracia de Dios. The grace of God. Permanece día a día. It endures day by day. Si yo estuviera en Las Vegas, if I was right now actually in Las Vegas, yo sería la apuesta más tonta o la más absurda. I would probably the worst uh, 
gamble that you will want to take. Nadie quería apostar por mí. Nobody will want to gamble on, on me. Si yo, si yo fuera un juguete, if I was a toy, si estuviéramos en una juguetería, and you were like in a toy store, te garantizo que nadie quería comprarme. I guarantee you that nobody actually will want to buy me. Roto, I will be broken, sucio, dirty, tirado, in the floor, pero de repente, when suddenly, alguien entró a la tienda, someone came to the store, caminó por el pasillo, walked through that aisle, miró hacia abajo, looked down, y simplemente me recogió. And suddenly, it picked me up. No hice nada para llamar su atención. I didn't do anything to actually ca catch the, his attention. Simplemente llegó. So, just he came. Me abrazó. He hugged me. Me dio un nuevo nombre. He gave me a new name. Me dio una nueva personalidad. He gave me a new personality. Me dio una nueva vida. He gave me a new life. ¿Sabes quién fue? And you know who is that? Se llama Jesús. His name is Jesus. Y todo esto fue. And all this por is gracia. because of grace. Número uno. Number one. La gracia. The grace. Permite tener una vida de pasión. Allow us to give to have a life of passion. Porque si sé exactamente. Because I, if I know exactly. Lo que que Cristo tuvo que pasar en la cruz What Jesus had to do in the cross para pagar to pay mi pecado for my sin. no puedo hacer otra cosa There's nothing I can do más que estar agradecido only to be eternamente thankful, agradecido thankful, porque con nada puedo pagar because with nothing I can pay for that. ¿te das cuenta? Can you see gracias a Dios por eso thank you to God y sabes God. algo And you know what? esa gracia that grace, también te alcanza a ti it's all, also can reach you. no importa dónde estés it doesn't matter where you're at. estás a lo mejor en un café, Maybe you're in a coffee house, en tu sala, in your living room. Yo no sé, pero la gracia te alcanza hasta donde estás. But I know that that grace is going to reach onto wherever you are at. Gracias a Dios por eso. And we thank God for that. Quiero que me acompañes, por favor, rápidamente al libro to, de Primera de Samuel. I want you to uh, go to uh, Second Samuel, or First Samuel 7:12. Y dice así. And this is what it says. Después, Samuel tomó una piedra, la colocó entre Mispa y Sen. Y la llamó Ebenezer, y el Señor, y, y diciendo, el Señor no ha dejado de ayudarnos. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and he named it Ebenezer, saying, Thus far has the Lord helped us. Y quiero explicarte un poquito el contexto de este versículo. And I want to explain you a little bit the context of this verse. En ese tiempo, In, at that time, el pueblo de Israel, the people from Israel, había sufrido una derrota terrible. They actually have lost. They have been in a big defeat. Los filisteos, the Philistines, que son sus enemigos, that actually were their enemies. Robaron el arca del pacto. They took the ark of covenant. Imagínate, la gloria de Israel había sido robada de ellos. Imagine the glory of Israel had been actually taken away from Israel. Pero pasó algo muy interesante. When something happened that was so interesting. Cuando cuando los filisteos toman esta arca y la llevan a su pueblo, when the Philistines took this ark and took it to their land. La pusieron en un templo de un dios pagano que se llamaba Dagón. They put it actually in the temple in a temple of a pagan God that his name was Dagon. Era una estructura Supongo que de buen tamaño. It was a structure that was like, you know, of a large size. Y pusieron el arca justamente enfrente de él. And they put actually this ark right across from it. La dejaron ahí. They left it there. Se fueron a dormir. They went to rest. Y al día siguiente. And the next day. Que iban a up, preparar los, eh, la adoración a este dios pagano. When they were ready to start worshiping this other god. Se dieron cuenta que este dios Dagón estaba tirado con el rostro hacia enfrente en dirección hacia el arca. They suddenly realized that that god, the dragon, was actually fallen right across from the, the ark. ¿No te parece increíble? Can you believe that's crazy? Esta estatua de este ídolo, this statue of this idol, tirada completamente, was, postrada, was like surrendering right. Llegaron los filisteos. The Philistines came. Y dijeron, ¿qué está pasando? They said, what's going on? Y volvieron a poner, levantaron la estatua de Dagón. And they really came and they actually lift up one time, one more time that statue. La dejaron ahí. They left it there. Pasó el día. The, se the fueron a descansar. Through, they went to rest. Y después, al día siguiente, and the next day, se dieron cuenta de exactamente lo mismo. The same thing happened. Pero algo más pasó. But even something else happened. Estaba la estatua de Dagón tirada. The statue was falling. Con los brazos cortados. With the arms broken. Y la cabeza cortada. And also the head was Estaba beheaded. separada. It was separated. Lo único que quedó es como el tronco. The only thing was like, you know, the main part of the body with our arms and limbs. Nuevamente, todo en dirección hacia el arca. Again, once again, facing towards the ark. Paréntesis. Let's put a parenthesis. 
Nadie puede resistir a la presencia de Dios. Nobody is able to resist the presence of God. Nadie puede estar de pie. Nobody actually is able to be standing up. No importa cuál sea el tamaño del ídolo. It doesn't matter what size this idol el, is. El Señor es más poderoso. God is so much powerful. Entonces, so ellos el, 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 el Señor comenzó a, a, a a traer mucha enfermedad sobre, sobre los filisteos. The Lord actually start bringing a lot of sickness, illness to that, the Philistines. A, a cada, cada vez que llegaba el arca a un pueblo filisteo, every time that the ark arrived into a, a Philistine town, la gente se llenaba de tumores. People started getting por todo el cuerpo. Sick. They got tumors all over their bodies. Desde el más pequeño hasta el más grande. From the youngest to the oldest. Y cuando la gente decía, llévate esta arca de aquí. And when the people were saying, you know, take the, move this ark out of our town. La llevaban a otro pueblo they filisteo. They took it to another Philistine town. Y exactamente lo mismo pasaba. And the same thing happened. Desde el más pequeño hasta el más grande. From the youngest to the oldest. Pasaron siete meses. There were seven months that passed. Y dijeron, no puedo más. And they said, that's enough. Necesitamos regresar. We need to actually return Su Dios this. es mucho más poderoso this que nuestro. God is so much powerful than our gods. Y regresaron esa arca. So they brought back the ark to the Israelites. Obviamente el pueblo de Israel estaba muy gozoso. Obviously the Israelites were super happy about it. Y pasaron 20 años. And there were 20 years that passed. Para que eh, eh, los filisteos una vez que, que entregaron el arca en su corazón decidieran otra vez ir por el arca. It took 20 years for the for the Philistines to actually make up their mind that they wanted to go back and grab this ark again. Y de repente dijeron los filisteos, and suddenly the Philistines said, si ya pudimos una vez, vamos nuevamente. We did it once, let's do it one more time. Y fueron. And they went. Y los israelitas escucharon el clamor del pueblo filisteo que quería venir hacia, hacia atacar Israel. And the Israelites heard that, and you know, they heard the Philistines really wanted to do this. ¿Y qué crees que pasó? And what, guess what happened? Tuvieron miedo. They were afraid. Tuvieron miedo. They were afraid. Entonces Samuel, so then Samuel, hizo algo increíble. He did actually something incredible. Tomó un, un cordero. He took a lamb. Lo ofreció al Señor. He gave it to God as an offering. Y oró por el pueblo. And he prayed for the people, the Israelites. En ese momento, in that moment, el Señor mandó relámpagos. The Lord sent thunder en contra de los filisteos. Against the Philistines. Ellos se turbaron. They were like confused. Y entonces el pueblo de Israel acabó con el pueblo, con, and, con los filisteos. And then the Israelites were able to fight the Philistines. Es, ese es el momento exacto. That's the, exact, the precise moment. Donde estamos hablando aquí en, en Primera de Samuel 7:12. When we're talking about Samuel 7:12. Entonces dice, tomó una piedra and then Samuel took a stone y la puso entre mispa and he put it between mispa y sen. And sen. Déjame decirte algo. Let me tell you one thing. Mispa, mispa significa torre de vigilancia. It o means torre like a, a tower. Me habla acerca de la oración. It means like about a tower of prayer. It means like a prayer. Es decir, aquellas cosas que yo pido. Those things that we are asking for. Y, y por el otro lado, and in the other side, está eh, el puso la palabra eh, lo, eh, puso la el uh, entre mis países. Zen significa. The word zen means roca afilada. It a sharp o diente, stone or a tooth. Muy probablemente, maybe representa it represents un instrumento de guerra. It was a, a weapon para poder obviamente eh, eh, pelear una batalla. For war to fight the battle. Entonces por un lado tienes a Mispa, so from one side you have Mispa, que es lo que pides en oración, which is like what you ask for y tienes prayer, a Zen, and then you have Zen, que es lo que haces, which is what you do. Entonces es impresionante ver este verso, so it's so amazing to see that in this verse, porque es porque Samuel puso justo en medio, because Samuel put it like right in the middle between those two, una roca, a rock. Una roca a rock. en medio de lo que pido y de lo que hago. In the middle between of what I ask and what I have to do. Y esto me da una clave importante. And this gives me a key. Abre tu Biblia rápidamente. Open your Bible quick. En Filipenses, In Philippians, capítulo 2, verso 13. 2.13. Dice así. Says, this is what it says. Pues es Dios quien produce en ustedes tanto el querer como el hacer para que se cumpla su buena voluntad. Eso es lo que dice, repito, pues Dios es quien produce en ustedes tanto el querer como el hacer para que se cumpla su buena voluntad. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. The, Let me say it one more time. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Purpose. Justo ahí en el centro, just right in that center, Cristo, Jesus.
Jesus. Dios, God, es el que produce el he, querer como el hacer. He's the one who produces the want and the actual to do. Mispa y sen. Mispa and sen. Y es una, o sea, es una enseñanza muy grande. And this is a very important teaching. Porque vivir con pasión. Because to live with passion. Es ne- para vivir con pasión es necesario poner a Cristo en el centro. Because to live for, with passion, we actually need to put God and Jesus in the center. Puedes intentar muchas estrategias. You can actually try a lot of strategies. Puedes hacer listas. You can make actually a, a task list. Puedes hacer muchas cosas. You can do many things. Pero solamente. But only cuando pones a Cristo en el centro when you put Jesus de in lo the que center pides y de lo que haces of what you ask and what you do es la única manera is the only way en la que puedes vivir una vida con pasión you can actually live a life with passion terminar lo que inicias finish what you started hacer tu devoción al diario do you actually have a time with God quizá bajar de peso maybe you lose some weight no lo sé I don't know pero lo que sí sé but what I know es de que poniendo a Cristo es justamente en el centro and that when putting Jesus in the center eso va a causar la diferencia is going to make a difference. Total y absoluta. <laughs> It's a total and absolute truth. Y para terminar, quiero As decirte esto. conclude, I want to tell you something. Salmos, Psalms, capítulo 95, 95, versos del 1 al 6. From 1 to 6. Voy a leerlo junto contigo. I'm going to read, read it with you. Dice, vengan, cantemos con júbilo al Señor, aclamemos a la roca de nuestra salvación. Lleguemos ante Él con acción de gracias y aclamémosle con cánticos. It says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us not, let us come before Him with thanksgiving and exalt Him with music and song. Y eso es lo que hacemos los domingos. And that's what we do on Sundays when es, we gather. Adoramos juntos. We worship together. Por favor. Please. No dejes de congregar. Do not stop meeting together. No pierdas la oportunidad Do not lose the de convivir con el cuerpo de Cristo. To have fellowship with the body of Christ. Te vas a sorprender. You're going to be surprised. Vas a estar vivo. You're going to be alive. Recuerda esto. Please remember this. Recuerda esto. Si tú de repente ves un árbol con una flor, if you suddenly see a tree with a flower, la flor se ve muy bonita. The flower probably looks really beautiful. Mi hija probablemente lo que haría es ir y agarrar, arrancarla. My daughter probably what she would do is like she would just go and pick that flower. Y dice, Mira papá, te enseño esta flor. And say, let me show you this flower, Dad. En ese momento la flor se ve igual que como si estuviera pegada al árbol. In that moment probably when you see that flower it looks exactly the same like when you picked it out. Y yo le diría, oh, está muy bonita. And I would say, oh, that's really cool, pretty. Pero qué va a pasar después de media hora? But what's going to happen after 30 minutes? Después de una hora. After one hour. Después de un día. After one day. Simplemente la flor se va a marchitar. Suddenly this flower is going to die. Entonces es exactamente lo que pasa con cuando nos dejamos de congregar. That's, how, that's what happens when we actually don't gather together with Pens- other believers. Pensamos que no va a pasar nada. We think that everything is going to be alright. Pero poco a poco, when a little bit a little, nuestra vida espiritual, our spiritual life, comienza a degradar. It starts a going down. Recuérdalo. Please remember that. Aparte, ya, ya viste que dice, vengan, cantemos. Está como en plural, ¿no? You know, it, it says it actually in plural. It says, come on, let us sing for joy. Bien, entonces, vamos a seguir leyendo. Verso so número 3. Verse number 3. No falta alguien que diga, mm, no me convences. There might be one of you guys that is like, you know, I don't really believe this. Necesito un poco más. I need a little more. Sigamos leyendo. Well, let's keep going. Verso número 3. Verse number 3. Porque el Señor es el gran Dios, el gran Rey sobre todos los dioses. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Más grande que cualquier Dios que podamos tener. It's so much bigger than any other God that we can have. Oh, yo tengo dioses. Oh, 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 I have other gods. Oh. Puede ser eh, Facebook. It could be internet. Facebook. El internet, internet. Puede ser a lo mejor jugar videojuegos. Maybe playing video games. Puede ser cualquier cosa. It could be anything. Hay que examinar nuestro you corazón. You have to really check your heart. Y darnos cuenta. And just realize, si Cristo está, if Jesus, junta exactamente en el centro, if Jesus is really actually in the center of your will, entonces, so es importante que tengas esto en cuenta. It's so important that you think about this. Okay, ¿te acuerdas de, del verso que leímos en Samuel? Do you remember the verse that we actually read in Samuel? Este Dios Dagón, that this God the Dagon, the Dagon, cómo quedaba postrado en el arca? Actually fell and it was like really bowing to the ark. Eso siempre va a pasar. That's what is going to happen with Cuando llevas tu corazón 
when your heart delante de la presencia when de you Dios. Bring your heart to the presence of God. Todos los dioses o las cosas que no le agradan a Dios. All the other gods and the things that you know that they don't actually please God. Van a caer. They're, ha they're gonna have to. Fall. No hay otra opción. They will fall. Porque There's no option. Nadie puede Because permanecer de pie. Nobody actually can stand ante su presencia. In front of His presence. Seguimos leyendo. Let's just continue reading. Dice en sus manos, verso 4 en sus manos están los abismos de la tierra suyas son las cumbres de los montes en his hands are the depths of the earth and the mountains peaks belong to him hey 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 no hay lugar donde te puedas esconder there is no place that you can actually hide from God no puedes estar tan alto que Dios no te pueda ver you can be so high that he cannot reach that o tan bajo que no te pueda alcanzar or how that low that he won't reach you no hay pecado tan grande que pueda ocultarte de la presencia de There Dios. Is not sin that could be so big that I cannot, you know, reach you from the presence of God. Él siempre te ve. He always sees you. Y no, hay, no puedes hacer nada al respecto. There is nothing you can do about it. Es su naturaleza. That's his nature. That's who he is. Okay, seguimos adelante. Okay, let's continue. Verso 5. Verse 5. Estamos a punto de terminar. We're almost ready to finish. Porque suyo es el mar, porque él lo hizo. Con sus manos formó la tierra firme. The sea is his, uh, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. ¿Recuerdas gracia sobre gracia, las olas de gracia llegando a mi vida? Do you remember grace upon grace, you know, like what I was saying about the waves hitting me and getting bigger and bigger? No puedes luchar contra eso. You cannot fight Te vas that. a cansar. You're going to get tired. Y vas a terminar haciendo la voluntad de Dios. And you're going to end up having to do God's will. Déjate llevar por la gracia. Please let yourself go by the grace. Y que te lleve a tierra firme. I'll let you take you to a, a solid ground para que cumpla su voluntad. So you can actually do his will. Y por último, dice And finally, let me verso 6. Verse 6. Vengan y postrémonos reverentes, doblemos nuestras rodillas ante el Señor, nuestro Hacedor. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. Esa es la llave de entrada. That's the key to let us in. Una vida con pasión. A life with passion. Es una vida humillada. It's a life where we humble ourselves. Sabiendo que se trata de Dios y no de mí. Knowing that it's about God and not about me. Se trata de saber to know que no soy autosuficiente. That we are not, we cannot do it on our own. Que dependo de Dios. That we depend of God, on God. Termino con una ilustración. I want to finish with this illustration. Esto lo escuché de algún pastor. No es I mío. heard it from another pastor, so this is not mine. Imagina una persona que va caminando con muletas. Imagine someone that is actually walking with crutches. Y de repente se encuentra Jesús. And suddenly he sees Jesus. Y, y de repente lo, lo primero que yo pensaría es, oh Jesús, ¿cómo estás? And the first thing that probably I would think is, it will be like, hey Jesus, how are you? Tratando de llamar su atención. Trying to, you know, get his attention. Para que dijera las hermosas palabras. So he will say those beautiful words. Levántate y anda. ¿no? Stand up and go. Pero imagina que eso no pasó. But what, what if that didn't happen? Imagina que cuando esta persona se acercó a Jesús. Imagine when this person with crutches gets closer to Jesus. Lo que Jesús hizo. What Jesus did. Es mirarlo. Is look at him. Y de un solo golpe. And from one hit. Tirarle las dos, las dos eh, muletas. And take off the, both of the crutches like that. ¿Qué? ¿Jesús haciendo eso? What, what Jesus doing that? ¿Él es malvado? Is it's a bad guy? No. No. Imagina que esto lo hizo por amor. Imagine that he did that out of love. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque del momento en el que Dios quita estas muletas que tienes acá, Because the moment when Jesus took those crutches in you, todo el peso All the way de tu pecado, of de tus malas decisiones, bad decisions, simplemente sientes todo eso. Suddenly you feel all that. Y no hay otra manera más que caer. And there is not other way than just to fall. Y eso te obliga. And that actually is going to push you. A que te agarres. To hold. De la única cosa que está a tu alrededor. To the only thing that is around you. Y eso se llama Jesús. And that is Jesus. No tienes otra opción. You don't have another option. Esto me enseña. That teaches me. A que la primera opción. That the first option. Debe ser Jesús. Needs to be Jesus. La segunda opción. The second option. Debe ser Jesús. Needs to be Jesus. La tercera opción. The third option. Debe ser Jesús. Needs to be Jesus. Justo en el centro. In the center de su voluntad. of his will. Y por último, consejo. Ya, yeah, me This, voy a callar. Okay, yeah. I'm going to be quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me give me you a some advice. Recuerda que la dinámica de Dios para hablarnos. Remember that 
The way that Jesus talks to us. Es muy sencilla y nos va a permitir y este consejo que te voy a dar nos va a permitir tener tiempos devocionales muy apasionados. It's very simple and actually this is going to help us to have a really good times with Jesus. Dios me habla a través de su palabra. God speak to me through his word. Yo respondo a él en oración. I, I respond to him in prayer. Lo voy a decir nuevamente. Let me say one more time. Es muy simple. It's very simple. Dios me habla a mí a través de su palabra. God speak to me through his word. Y yo respondo and I respond en oración. In prayer. Esta es la razón. That is the reason. Por la que a veces estamos en un tipo de oración y pasaron cinco minutos y ya no sabes qué decir. That maybe when we are actually taking the time for prayer and then we don't know what to say. Dios me habla a través de su palabra. God speak to me through his word. Yo respondo a través I de respond la oración. Through prayer. Dios me habla a través de mí. God speak to me. Y Dios, yo respondo a través de adoración. And I respond through worship. Vamos a orar, ¿les parece? Let's pray. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Porque se trata de ti. Because it's about you. Porque no hay nada que me pueda separar de ti. Because there's nothing that can separate me from Porque you. no hay ídolo tan grande que there's pueda not tener. An idol that could be so big que no se doblegue ante tu presencia. That cannot kneel down in front of you. Gracias por esto. Thank you for that. Y si alguna persona de las que está oyendo and if any of the people that are listening today está en una posición they are in a, a time en donde necesita que entregar al Señor estos ídolos where they need to give those idols away te pido Señor I pray Lord te ruego, Señor, I ask you Lord que tú traigas paz that you will bring peace y, un, y, y una certeza and a certainty de que no hay Dios como tú that there is not a God like you muchas gracias thank you ayúdanos help us a vivir apasionada to live with passion justamente en el centro <laughs> in the center de tu voluntad of your will amen amen muchas gracias <laughs> amen Woo! thank you guys so much for joining us today this was so much fun if you just joined in about the middle or towards the end you can go back i encourage you to watch from the beginning hear the word from um, Sergio Pastor Sergio Lara about living with passion a couple quick things we want to give a huge um, shout out to our Nicaragua team and say welcome back we can't wait to see you guys next week and hear all your stories. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Tater Holdaway, um, who was out this morning trying to dig out the trailers when we were trying to have church. So thank you, Tater, for that. Um, you guys know every Sunday we give you guys a chance to give. It's part of our worship. So we encourage you to take the opportunity sometime today to go on our website, um, clife.church backslash give and participate in giving um, your tithes and your offerings and worshiping that way. And we just really look forward to seeing you next week. And don't you really like my scarf? Thank you. Have Woo! a great day. Bye, guys. Bye.